I decided today that I was going to talk about relationships. Now I know I don't really get into real serious topics. If you've seen my past entries, you know that apple juice isn't really something that a lot of people talk about. And cosplay is a widely discussed subject, but I really didn't go into anything serious when it came to talking about the matter. But I knew that today I had to talk about something a little bit more serious, if at all just once. So I figured relationships were the way to go. But just like I am when I talk about anything, I couldn't do it completely seriously. That's why I'm here today with my Hugh Hefner robe and somewhat the same hairstyle and my glass of, well, it's not champagne, but I know if you take a guess you could probably figure out what it is. Of course it's apple juice. And still good. If I'm properly motivated, and I just want to, I can talk about serious topics. But there's another reason that I wanted to talk about relationships today, just because I wanted to get it out of the way. It seems like it's being discussed so much to me or around me recently, and I don't mind, especially if it's by friends, because I'm always there for my friends. But I figured today I was going to talk about it a little bit more openly, because there's things that people tell me that, sorry, even on here, I'm not going to reveal. But doing it in an open manner and just giving you my general views about relationships, people can get on here and see, just sort of, in my own little entertaining way, how I feel about these kind of things. Yes, that's right. Honesty. When some people hear about honesty, I always hear an immediate response. I am honest. Or, I know that honesty is important. It's usually also followed by, well, a relationship's about compromise, and it's about honesty. Okay then, that's great. I'm glad you understand that a relationship is about honesty, or you've heard the facts go through your head. Here's something that I think you need to know about advice in relationships, because I've seen it pass through so many times. If you are in a relationship, now, I'm going to say this slowly so that you can understand it. If you are in a relationship and you know honesty is important, here's something that you have to do. Be honest. There's been so many times when I always hear somebody say that, well, maybe I shouldn't tell them the truth. I don't know how they're going to take it. Okay. Usually when you say that statement, it's followed before by a series of things that you did that you weren't honest about in the first place. Because with honesty, I don't know, maybe it's like a ball or something, where let's say you take a piece of gum and you chew gum every day, and every time you lie, you take a gum, piece of gum and you set it aside and you start making this ball. After a while, this ball becomes bigger and bigger and bigger, and eventually, it, well, it either sticks you to the ground, or you get killed by it because it's too heavy. But that's a whole other subject. Yes, I know, there's always that point at the beginning where you want to impress somebody, and you decide that you want to disguise your true self, or be somebody else. In the last few years, though, I've learned something very important. If you are yourself and somebody doesn't like you, then they're not the person for you. I mean, you might want them to be, and you might want to change them into that person to get them to be somebody that wants you and you want them, but that's just not how it happens. Because eventually, because you're you, you go back to being you. It's because you're wearing a mask, and after a while, if that mask is glued to you, it hurts like hell when you pull it off. And it also hurts like hell for the person that sees the real you. R-E-S-P-E-C-T, I'm not gonna sing this song, cause I forgot the words, so I won't go on. That's right. Respect. And no, I'm not gonna sing the song. And yes, I do know the words, but then we'll get into a whole other video where I'm doing a music video instead of uh, saying my thoughts. 
But yes, when it comes to respect, that's another important part of relationships. So I think Aretha might have been a genius. I'm saying it now. She was a genius. Because respect is an important part of a relationship, plain and simple. And when I say respect, I'm talking about a two-way street here. Somehow, when people hear about respect, it somehow gets interrupted. And I'm not sure why. I'm still trying to figure out the science of this and exactly how this works. Where some person will say, in one of two scenarios, they'll be like, You're not respecting me. I need you to respect me. Because you're not respecting my space, so you're not respecting me. Okay, it's great that you're saying that, but when you're saying that to someone, listen to yourself. If you have to take the time to yell, and scream, and holler at another person just to say that you're not respecting them or that person isn't respecting you, think about it this way. Why is that person not respecting you? And if they aren't respecting you, is it something that you did or is it something they did? Now, flip flop it, go over to the other side. Now let's take it to the other scenario. If it's on the other side of the coin and this person actually is being disrespected and they're not doing it as a you're interfering with them type of but they're actually standing up and saying hey you're not respecting me in your situation why is this happening because you're supposed to be in a relationship with this person yes it's very simple logic for respect for both sides for honesty for both sides that's where it comes to being in a relationship and that's where it comes to another subject. This is actually the most important part. And I could go into a lower tone of voice and when I'm talking about this, discuss love in a whole new way. Being a little bit more dramatic. But I won't. Because yes, love is the most important part of a relationship. If there's no love, there's no relationship. Plain and simple. And when I say love, I mean real love. Something that develops. Something that goes in the time. I've heard relationships end by somebody just simply saying, like, I don't think there's a connection here. I don't think there's love here. But if that other person loves you, First off, try to find it. Because maybe you don't feel that way, or maybe you skipped out on something that was very important. And if you did, I feel bad for you. Because that might have been your chance, and you just missed it. But it's also a love of realty and character. I don't see how many times that I've heard infatuation with somebody is not love. You look at someone and you say, oh man, I gotta love that person. She is so hot. Okay. If you say you love someone and you say they're hot in the same sentence, sometimes you're on a borderline of something entirely different and it's not love. Whether it be something that you go into starting from a friendship or whether it does hit very quickly, because sometimes it does. Sometimes you get that rare occasion where it hits, and it's the best thing that ever happened to you, and it stays. And if that's the situation, then it might be real love as well. But make sure first, because I've seen too many relationships end where it's not real love, and they get married, or they have something else happen. They have a kid, or some other situation occurs, and then they find out it wasn't real love. Make sure it's real before you start anything. And I know that's me being serious, but this is about as serious as I can get. Just try your best. Be yourself. Be honest. Compromise if you have to. And that's all I can say.